It is what Cahill says in a new lawsuit that is so shocking. He alleges several former top aides secretly worked to undermine his effort while still on the payroll. And then after quitting, not only lobbied his running mate to quit, but also discussed sharing Cahill campaign secrets with the Republican candidate and a national Republican organization. Let's continue our conversation with Paul Begala and Ed Rollins. And our contributor, Roland Martin, has joined us as well. Among the aides who resigned and are now accused in this lawsuit, Ed Rollins, of sharing secrets is John Weaver, who many people might remember. He worked for the McCain campaign. He's been involved in several other Republican campaigns. His partner, uh, John Yob. And what they are accused of doing is essentially deciding, you know, Cahill can't win. Let's quit that campaign because we don't want to get blamed by Republicans if the Republican loses. And then one of the emails mentioned in the lawsuit is John Weaver emailing essentially saying that the running mate, Tim Cahill's running mate, will be offered a lifeline up to him to take it or not, essentially hinting that if he drops out and causes more chaos in the campaign, if the Republican wins, he'll take care of him. Ethical? Uh, in Boston, by Boston ex ethical standards? I mean, uh, <laughs> you, you know what the politics are. Or in John Weaver, worrying, John who's one of the great strategists, worried about uh, uh, being an independent. He was the master of John McCain when he was independent. The bottom line is you never want to do anything. The ethical standards are you never want to do anything to hurt your candidacy. Uh, and any strategist that ever does that, then they basically ought to be run out of the business. I don't know what the story is here. It sounds like a bunch of nothing to me. Well, Paul, when you guys sign on for campaigns, do you sign confidentiality agreements? Do you have to take any kind of an ethics pledge? Or No, and maybe they should. You know, honestly, in my day, it was a handshake agreement. I had a handshake agreement with Bill Clinton. We didn't have a contract, and mm -hmm. he honored it, and so did we. And you, you can't, there ought to be some honor among thieves and even among political consultants. You know, I, my view was if, if someone is smart enough to hire me, <laughs> I need to be smart enough to, to respect, the, the, respect them and not betray them. Roland, now we've got to be clear. Innocent until proven guilty. They've just right. filed this lawsuit and nobody has been convicted or proven anything. But if you do look at the emails that are quoted from here, that one of the guys involved kept getting his email through a Cahill campaign server. So even after he left... They had access to his emails. Sure. And it does say in these emails, it pretty clearly suggests, number one, they want to get this guy to drop out. And number two, they're having conversations with the Republican Governors Association and the campaign manager for the Republican candidate saying, maybe we know some things that might help you guys. Uh, that's really going to make people inspired and give faith in politics, right? From, from a voter standpoint, do you care? I mean, you, look, Cahill can sit here and he can complain about his former aides. He should be focusing on trying to get as many votes as possible, okay? And so if you're drawing attention away from the campaign by talking about a lawsuit, that doesn't help you, okay? And obviously Republicans nationally, they want to defeat Governor Deval, Deval Patrick because they would not, love nothing more than a pickup in Massachusetts after Scott Brown beat Coakley for the Senate race. And, of course, Patrick very close to President Barack Obama as well. So, again, KEO, focus on the voters. Nobody cares about the back room of what happened with your campaign. I think as he fades, though, he, A, he wants some attention here, but B, he wants people to say, wait a minute, if you're starting to trend toward the Republicans who are moving up in the polls, I think he's trying to stop them there. But we'll see how this lawsuit plays out.